Man, look at that, minute 28.978. Remember the Ferrari teammates are running 8th and 9th. Three laps to go. Next time around, we'll be at the three lap mark. My beat teammate Montez for P2 within three laps to go. It looks like Lucas Weaver is going to win this uh, British Grand Prix. We've had a rough place in the rain and uh, with no need to worry about. We'll try to get it back next season if the weather cooperates here. Well, at least we got a full R&D setup.
Well, I did everything as hard as I can with the uh, slick tires, but it was just a little too little too late with then nine laps to go. Here's the final lap of the race. One more lap to go. Settled with a P3 podium finish. Well, what a good job for Valtteri Bottas. He couldn't even win the race, but he gave it everything he got to try to get around Lucas Weaver. But um, and we did everything we could in the rain. But uh, it looks like the rain just didn't uh, give Mercedes uh, enough speed. But we will, when we get that master cylinder, we'll be able to get more speed when we go into Germany. just too little too late. So I'm going to settle with the P3 finish. Well the race didn't cut out that well but we have to do better in the rain but we're improving in the rain but uh, it just wasn't meant to be so P3 finish for us. Gave it all we got, but uh, we just need more speed in the rain. So Lucas Weaver gets his seventh career win. What do you think it was, Ant, that gave him the edge over the competition today? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalize on the mistakes of other drivers. So Lucas Weaver does win the uh, British Crown Prix, but we just gave it all we got. We were racing after them, but then... We just struggle with speed with, in the rain. But I'm glad my teammate Valtteri Bottas did a great job out there, but he had better speed in the rain than I did. So let's see if all things will go well in the German Grand Prix. Let's take a look at the highlights of the race and see uh, what has happened. So we finished in P3, but uh, we struggled at the start of the race because everybody was sandwiching me and then making unavoidable aggression contact. contact. But there still need to be a little bit of improvement in the ring with the AL. See, so Valtteri took the lead. I didn't really have a good start, but then I did have good rain pace. But I just couldn't keep up with the McLaren of uh, Lucas Weaver and Bottas. just uh, sliding all over the place. I had a little bit of understeer and a little bit of oversteer in some of the turns. But I still kept on with P3 and we pulled away from everybody. Then the intermediates improved a little bit but still 
not enough speed. Well, before we wrap it up, we will be doing interviews. And then during the drives, I was just trying to get the speed that I need. And here's the P3 finish, finishing off in third place. And yeah, I was going after Botez, but too little, too late. But let's see if next season the, the British Grand Prix will improve in the rain, will, will improve in clear weather. We already won the first two seasons here at the British Grand Prix, but it wasn't meant to be. But uh, good finish in P3, but uh, we'll, we'll try to get that lead back in Germany. This car today. You and Lucas seem to enjoy yourselves up on the podium today. Lucas made a pretty slick move when he passed you for the lead today, didn't he? Yeah, well, and with this car so much being balanced, he, he, we couldn't stop him at all or anything because he just kept on going and going. And my teammate Volta has almost won this race. Did you feel comfortable in the wet weather today? Those are the risk, but I have a good team hunter to migrate that. Great. Well, that's everything. Well, thank you very much, Claire. And, uh, and thank you for watching my show here at the British Grand Prix. It just wasn't meant to be. I had a P3 finish. And, uh, well, it was way too hard in the rain over in the British Grand Prix. It, it's tough to turn here. And uh, we just need uh, a little bit more adjustments. But when we get that last setup, then... Maybe in the rain we could improve a little bit. So until then, on behalf of the Speed JPO, YouTube.com, thank you so much uh, for watching. And uh, let's hope we can have better improvements in the German Grand Prix. So until then, I uh, hope everybody enjoys the rest of your night, and we'll see you until the next one. Goodbye, everyone.